All right, welcome to class, everyone. Today's class will be studying fat and oils. Yes, fat and oil. The regular fat and oil you've always known, but we'll be looking at this through chemistry. Okay, so fat and oils belong to a general group of compounds known as lipids. Fat are solid, usually of animal origin, while oils are liquid, mainly from plants. So you notice that um, animals are fat, and you can this can be readily seen from their meat, like chicken or beef. They have fat, so the fat, and they are solid in nature they are solid and they are majorly gotten from animal while leak oils are liquid mainly from plant example is the vegetable oil the soya oil and the granite oil both are esters of the triadric arcanol proper one two three triol what this means is that when it said ester um this is gotten through a chemical reaction called esterification and it is the reaction between carboxylic acid or fatty acid with alkanol yes with alkanol to give us ester and water so uh fat and oil are the products gotten from the reaction of fatty acid and a triadric propan one two three trihol okay uh the fatty acid commonly found in lipids are long chain alkanoic acid of the general formula RCOOH, where R contains 10 to 18 carbon atoms. The terminal, C, that's the terminal meaning the ending part of the formula, that's the COOH group is polar, so it can dissolve in water. Then the carboxylic acid group are united in water to a certain degree to form hydrogen ion and the carboxylate ion. Fatty acid are thus weak acid. Then the log alkyl group that which contains that's the R that contains about 10 to 18 carbon atoms are non-polar so it does not dissolve so it is not soluble in water. This we fatty acids are divided into two groups of the saturated fatty acid and unsaturated fatty acids. The saturated fatty acids have no double bonds in the hydrocarbon chain, while the unsaturated fatty acids have one or more double bonds in their hydrocarbon chain. This is quite simple. The saturated fatty acids they have no double bonds, while the unsaturated have double we have one or more double bonds in the hydrocarbon chain all right so we'll move forward to the properties of fat and oil any particular fat or oil is a complex mixture of proper one two three triol ester we established that in the beginning of this class so its properties depending mainly on the proportion of each constituent Fat have higher melting points because they are composed of a higher proportion of esters of saturated fatty acid, while oils have lower melting points because they are composed of a higher proportion of esters of unsaturated fatty acid. Okay, right, so let's move to the hydrogenation of oils. Hydrogenation of oil, oil can be changed into fat by hydrogenation okay, that's the process of making margarine and margarine is made by this process okay and um oil is usually from plants such as oil palm granite and soya bean are heated to about 180 degrees celsius in the presence of finely divided nickel this serves as a catalyst to enhance the reaction and hydrogen is bubbled in at about five atmosphere that's the pressure needed the hydrogen is added across in the unsaturated carbon chains in the oil just from the name hydrogenation is simply the addition of hydrogen to oil to convert to oil okay so the adding oil becomes add are then mixed with salt vitamins skinned milk and various fats to form margarine and this is so that can have this so this is the production of our regular margarine that we use at home all right so we'll move to saponification and this is the process of making soap hydrolysis of fat and oil with caustic alkali that's naoh yields proper one two three trial and 
the corresponding sodium and potassium salt of the component fatty acid which are the soap so we have fat and oil reacting with caustic alkali to give us soap and proper one two three triol let's quickly run through the uses of fat and oil of course we know that most fat as are consumed as food and oils are adding into fat to make margarine tallow which is mutton fat which this can be gotten from sheep is used for making soaps coconut oil and palm oil are used for making soaps and for cooking also while granite oil and cotton seed are only used for cooking lean seed oil is used for making paint All right so let's look at some examples of uh fatty acid we have and this this is what is used to produce oil with reaction with proper one two three triol so we have hexadecanoic acid the old name is palmitic acid and the source is palm oil okay octadecanoic acid steric acid and the source is animal fats octadecanoic acid which is called oleic acid Peanut oil, olive oil is the source. We have octadeca 912 dianoic acid, otherwise called ninoic acid, and the source is vegetable oil. So we we'll go to test for fat and oil. Number one test is the paper test. This can be done at home because it's quite easy. Just a drop of oil or melted fat on a piece of filter paper and it forms a translucent grease spot. A kind of translucent, almost transparent spot when oil drops on your paper or yes, majorly paper, it forms the translu translucent grease spot. So you know, oh, this is oil. That's called a paper test. This can be done at home. So you know that, okay, fat and oil is present. So another test is the Sudan 3 test. Shake a, shake a few centimeter cube of coconut oil with water. Then add 4 to 5 drops of Sudan, Sudan 3 stain. It's, it's a reagent in the lab. The oil is stained red. So this is a specific test for fat and oil. Alright, in summary, we said fat and oil are usually naturally occurring esters. Fat is usually of animal origin and they are solids. Oil is usually of plant origin, they are liquids. While oil can be converted to fat by hydrogenation. Also, we said that fat and oil undergo hydrolysis in a process called saponification to form soaps. So, yeah, I have assignment for you please do well to go through it and i'd love to get your feedback thank you for today for today's class